only one, just cuddly, get one. I'm finally back from Briarfest. Well, of course, I haven't been in uh, Lexington, Kentucky at the uh, famous uh, Kentucky Horse Park this year due to the horrible uh, COVID-19 pandemic, which I hope we'll uh, get through this uh, very soon. But still, I have been able to attend Briarfest this year thanks to Briarfest's uh, uh, great, great, big, big efforts to host an online version of it, which I really, really enjoyed, despite not everything uh, uh, went 100% perfect, but um, they did their best, and uh, I said I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the uh, uh, backstage uh, videos they had, for example, from the uh, prior archives um, uh, where they store each and every model that they uh, have ever done in their uh, 70 years history. That was really, really exciting to watch and uh, thank you so much Dyer for giving us fans that uh, rare, rare insight. And also uh, enjoyed uh, the video that had um, uh, Oliver, the Kentucky Horse Park uh, police horse, uh, riding around the uh, sadly empty park. Uh, no visitors there currently due to the pandemic, but still um, uh, her rider, Captain uh, Lisa Lakes, was, uh, uh, seems like a really, really uh, friendly person. And I really want to thank all these people that put their efforts into it for delivering us uh, uh, the online version of a of Briarfest. And of course, it wouldn't be a Briarfest without the models. And thankfully, they already uh, had the models uh, manufactured before um, the actual uh, real life Briarfest, so to say, had to be cancelled due to the pandemic. So. Uh, no one went home with uh, empty hands either, even though no one was there. In advance, I got my uh, three-day ticket um, as usual, which would uh, give me access to uh, uh, up to two uh, special run models. And I'm glad that I was able to score um, uh, two of them. Uh, even though, uh, as I said, um, the uh, store system uh, had quite a bit of technical uh, problems throughout the weekend. I had my special run time at, uh, on Sunday at uh, 2 p.m. And before that I tried to uh, get uh, various other items uh, since prior uh, had uh, negotiated a great deal for us international customers. Uh, they uh, combined uh, all shipment, all orders that you uh, put in uh, throughout the weekend. They combined everything uh, and uh, only charged you uh, $25 once, no matter uh, how many uh, shipments uh, uh, it would uh, generate. And I got I made use of it and uh, not only ordered a couple of Briarfest models uh, but also some uh, stuff from their uh, regular run lineup. I also tried to get um, uh, one of the uh, grab packs. Um, uh, unfortunately, uh, this uh, slipped away because uh, first I had Luckily, Nick used uh, in the Briar store, and then uh, as soon as I was able to uh, eventually put it into my cart, it uh, sold up as uh, sold out. Uh, even though uh, the Briar team uh, communicated very well on social media, this was kind of a frustrating experience, but um, at least uh, at the end of the weekend, I got the store special that I wanted, and I got two special runs, one that I really wanted, <clears throat> and one not so much, but I'm still uh, happy with it, and 
So I finally want to get to the point and show you the entire hole that I got. I said it was four different parcels, but I got everything uh, uh, in here for you. And I uh, want to start uh, with showing you the models. I'm trying to uh, keep this video short, so, uh, uh, but uh, we'll still look at um, each and every model. And the first one to start with a couple regular runs that I wanted for a long time. Uh, and finally uh, was able to get them because they had such a great shipping deal of uh, only uh, $25 international. And let me start with a horse, uh, with the uh, oldest regular run horse of my hole. Okay, so if I was going to buy a real life horse, it would need to look pretty much like Snowman. This is truly a dream horse for me. Look at that. It's such, such a cutie and pretty much all white. And this horse had a such a moving story which you can read on the back as on every uh, bio box. Uh, it's very uh, safe from the slaughterhouse and eventually turned into a child-friendly Hall of Fame horse and uh, you can read the story in the back of the box if you pause this video uh, right here and so this is Snowman my first horse of this hall and then we have another Grey horse, and that's cuts me. Oh, this right here, now famous eventing horse. This lovely uh, grey shading, and such a cute face. And then we have Pepto Boone's mold, which is on the Australian stock horse mold, uh, which I already uh, fell in love at the last Briofest when I got how this horse special. And this is a legendary cutting horse that has earned over $180,000 uh, throughout its career. And I really love the red roan color. It's, it's super sweet and uh, I definitely, uh, uh, like with uh, most of the briar boxes, I'm going to keep the, the back. I will cut this out because this has a super cute portrait of him and you can learn about the story of the horse. I really love the prior portrait models of real horses because these real life horses have inspired so many people and they have so many fans and it's great to have models of them and the same is true for Checkers, my next regular run horse. It's a brand new model for uh, 2020, just like Pepto Boone's model. And this is a mountain trail horse. So imagine it's just like a mountain biking, just with a horse. And it's being ridden without a bridle. Imagine that. As you can see on this uh, photograph, it's just a simple rope. And that takes a lot of talent to conquer these obstacles out in the wild. It's, it's a fantastic sport. I didn't even know about it existed until I read it. So I'm still pretty new to the horse world, but uh, Briar is uh, very great in, uh, uh, with how they design their boxes and they provide you the information so you can learn about. And I've got model 
number five is an, um, the ideal American quarter horse as seen on the artwork by Orrin Mixer, the famous Mixer paintings. And this is actually part of a series, so we will see uh, even more prior models based on this uh, artwork. And I think this is a horse with the cutest face of my entire haul. Uh, looks, uh, it's pretty accurate to the uh, mix of painting, except that the model has a longer tail. But that's fine. I love it anyway. And then I got a surprise horse. This is part of Briar's 70th anniversary collection. Uh, one in five different uh, versions. And uh, it's a random uh, segment, so you do not know what you uh, get until you actually receive it. And I got the saddle bright one which uh, pays tribute to the first ever uh, prior model, which actually wasn't a standalone model, but a saddle bright uh, with a clock. This was the very, very first prior model that was created 70 years ago. And then I got a couple of uh, small stuff since I finally want to start um, customizing some of my prior models. Uh, I've already over uh, 30 prior models um, as of now. And I got Megan the Jurassic Rider. That's an 8 inch doll that fits uh, all the traditional scale uh, horses. And I want to use her to customize my Valigro Olympic Classic Champion model. And the same goes true for the. Let's see if I can get it right here. And the Classic Bridle that I'm going to put on the same horse. So I just need to find a Classic Saddle that the doll. And that the uh, bridle and uh, hopefully I'll find a uh, saddle soon as well. So feel free to point me to one if you know a fitting saddle. And I also got the western riding set which I will probably put on one of my uh, quarter horses to tack it up. I think this looks great. You can see on the back, it's a complete set with everything that you need, everything that a horse needs. And then we finally want to get to the uh, um, Briar Fest 2020 exclusive models. First, we have the uh, Celebration Horse and this is Ballino Castle RM, a famous uh, eventing horse. And as I said, this would have been uh, the guest of honor, so to say, at this year's Biofest. And I really, really miss that um, meeting these famous horses in person, posing for a photo with them, and talk to the owners. That's what I really, really missed uh, this year. Um, Hopefully we can have Firefest um, again on site next year. Um, this is a super cute eventing horse. Uh, it's too bad we won't get to see it in real life, but of course Briar offered some online content uh, with Ballino Castle, also simply known as Reti, around the barn. And 
I'm really happy with this year's Celebration Horse. Um, as said, if you are new to buy the Celebration Horse is included with every three-day ticket. So I basically got this for free. It's a $50 value with a three-day ticket being around uh, $80, $80, $90. And then the only store special that I liked this year was WH Top Gun, a kind of Mara Pony. Uh, great and famous eventing horse. You can see on the back great photos. Uh, really, really like really love the team Celtic fling that they had this year. It's, it's really, it's too bad that we could not be there. But at least we have the models. And now I know that you really, really am excited for um, the special runs, the two special runs that I got, so am I, and I really couldn't wait to unbox them. Well, they uh, actually never come in a box, but they are simply uh, wrapped in uh, plastic. And the first special run that I was able to score was as named after the three sacred trees in Celtic mythology. Uh, first, I didn't really plan on getting him, but due to the technical problems, um, he would eventually be uh, the only option that I had uh, at a certain point uh, during the Briarfest weekend. Yet, I'm still pretty happy now that, now that I have in my paws. Uh, he looks like a fairy tale horse. And it's a really, really sweet face and lovely dapples. And then I, um, I said instead of F, I originally wanted to go for uh, the surprise model, uh, which I have not been able to get. So the second special run that I was eventually able to put into my cart was Thorn. And I'm so happy that I got him because as a Disney fan, something struck my eye. Take a look right here. That looks like a hidden Mickey on this Appaloosa. And this tiny golden boy and I think this is great this really really made me smile as a big Disney fan even though the horse has nothing to do with Disney but this is so super cool I, I wonder if it was intentional I don't think so but uh, still having a horse with a hidden Mickey shape is absolutely amazing so I'm really glad that I scored porn. Um, it's on a uh, uh, vintage mold out of the 70s, late 70s actually. And couldn't be happier with it. So this is my entire my entire Briarfest 2020 haul. And of course I'm uh, going to unbox these uh, right now and then I'm uh, going to show you the models uh, again in their unboxed condition so I think I'm going to start with that right now but of course I won't show you the entire unboxing that would take way too long so I'll be back in a minute
Okay, halfway done with the unboxing, so here's a look at all of my models again. And now I'm going to uh, completely unbox them so we can look at them real quick in detail. Okay, back after the uh, unboxing a couple hours later, here are all of my 10 models of this haul. Let's take a real quick look at each individual model again, starting with Snowman. And you definitely cannot uh, mistake this horse, even if you have a couple dozen prior priors in your collection. Because um, not only of, because of its snow white color, but it's also got the name stamped on its belly. And that said, if I would own a real horse, it would be pretty much like Snowman. Snow White, child loving, great character, and a truly inspiring story. I really uh, recommend you to uh, read the books that have been uh, written about this horse. I mean, this is uh, no wonder this horse has been and still is the idol of so many. What's a bit of a negative point about a white model is that you can almost see through, especially when you are outside in uh, direct sunlight. Uh, other than that, this is a fantastic model. I really love its face. It's really cute with uh, the black nose that fades into a black. But other than that, the horse is pretty much white. And, and the next white horse is that Holsteiner gelding named Katzli, which is simply known as Snoopy uh, around the barn. That's how uh, his owners uh, call him. And they say he's like a cute puppy dog. And if you look at his face, yeah, that definitely has something. There's some, there's some truth to it. It's also got uh, horse shoes, which I really, really like. Uh, these are, um, are painted and molded on. Uh, lovely dark gray shading on its legs and there's some fine dapples uh, across its body hardly visible but if you go in close uh, lovely flowing tail and Snoopy is an all around cute horse uh, managed to bounce back from botulism with uh, uh, usually hardly any horse uh, survives and then we have Pepto Boonsmal and if you are a uh, little bit more seasoned prior collector then uh, there's another uh, prior model that's actually his daughter and that's uh, Paint Me a Pepto. Uh, looking at Pepto Boonsmal, uh, lovely red roan color. Really unique. And it's got uh, two white stockings and a little bit of white on its uh, front right leg. And this is on the Australian stock horse mold, uh, which you probably remember from last year's uh, store special at Briar Fest. How, which I also have in my collection, I uh, really, really love this mode. It's a pretty long boy. And this tiny horse is Checkers. 
I think Megorx wins the award for the cutest face along with the next horse that I will uh, show you. Um, this is the uh, mountain trail champion that's being uh, ridden without a bridle. That's, that's truly amazing, this sport. This model also uh, has uh, also got horse shoes. Uh, this should be a standard on pretty much all of uh, the models. I really like this additional detail. The checkers is really really cute with its, uh, its a little white star on its face. And it's just an oh face that he's got. Really, really handsome, and the same is true for Orrin Mixer's version of the ideal American quarter horse. This model, known from his famous artworks, is just on the model, uh, uh, the tail is a little bit longer than seen on the artwork, but other than that. This truly looks like the ideal American quarter horse. Uh, pretty shiny. Uh, a new model for 2020 and I'm um, uh, choosing uh, by the other artwork on the box. I'm really really excited for uh, more horses in uh, this series that's based on Orin Mixer's artwork. Uh, probably definitely going to uh, collect uh, uh, all of this series. So I got all the different breeds. And then we have my, well not the Briarfest surprise model, but it is a surprise model to a certain degree because this is from Briar's 70th anniversary collection. Um, if you order that, uh, they will uh, send you, they will ra randomly send you uh, uh, one of five different horses and I've got the Saddlebreds celebrating the most recent uh, de decades of prior models. Uh, most recent two decades. And it's got a lovely dapples across its body. Really, really shiny. Got four white stockings. And look at that flowing mane and tail. This is awesome. I'm pretty happy that I got him. Uh, looks like it's one of the uh, most uh, valuable uh, in the uh, entire series. But my favorite would have been the, the fighting stallion. But I'm, I'm happy that I got him. And finally, let us look at the actual Briarfest 2020 uh, special models that I got. The first is, of course, the Celebration Horse. Since I had uh, a three-day ticket, I got Ballino Castle RM, also known as Rexy, um, included in the price of a three-day ticket. And I really like that transparent stand much more than uh, uh, if it would be a black stand or any other color. And take a look at the, you can see the muscles very well. Uh, this is actually a uh, three day eventing horse, very versatile. Uh, doing cross country dressage and show jumping, and it would have been really fun to uh, watch him at uh, at Briarfest and uh, uh, meet him and talk to the owners. Sadly, that doesn't happen, but at least we've got the model, and uh, hopefully, uh, we will see him at some point in the future at a future Briarfest. Lovely model. And I'm really happy with this uh, choice uh, as the celebration model.
and then take a look at this big boy. This is one of my two special run models that I was able to get at on the Otello mold and I already uh, see that this is um, trades as the most expensive, uh, pretty much the most expensive uh, special run model. So I uh, can be pretty lucky that I have been able to score him. Take a look at this heavy drafter. That's lovely doubles across the back and it's uh, uh, front part of the body and that face is super cute and the mane is kind of like striped I really like that it's almost like a zebra and it's got of course uh, horse shoes as well that's that's really nice and it's a big heavy model and definitely one of my center pieces of my prior herd uh, actually, at first, uh, like I told you, I uh, uh, I didn't want to get S, but uh, one of the surprise special runs together with Thorn, but due to technical issues, I ended up with only having Thorn and S uh, to choose from. So S is an unplanned model to join my collection, but definitely. Uh, uh, one of my favorites and definitely stands out from all the others. Here we have the other special one that I was able to get torn. Uh, it's a limited edition of I think 1500 models if I'm not mistaken. going to uh, make you a text uh, uh, here in the video uh, because I I can't uh, memorize that many many numbers uh, I always have to research and make notes um, Torn is as said a uh, really shiny golden boy and of course being a Disney Parks fan take a look at this hidden Mickey across its back and um, a word of Caution is that the paint on its tail uh, seems to come off rather quickly. Um, I noticed a little damage uh, when I uh, cut it and I tried to cover it with a black marker. Uh, only partly successful so I'll see in the future what I can do here. So for now it's definitely not like so quality. But since I do not take part at any uh, Marvel Horse shows uh, yet, I don't know, you never know, maybe in the future. Uh, this is not a big problem, but it's unfortunately on the side that has the hidden Mickey. So I'm definitely uh, going to try to uh, cover this. Uh, that face is also pretty lovely. You look at it. And finally, the last model is the only store special that I actually liked. I didn't like uh, all the others, so I only got one. And it doesn't get any more iris uh, since this is a Connemara pony named W8 Top Gun. And that's probably the most perfect fit for the team of Celtic Flame that they had this year. I'll take a look. Uh, doesn't have any eye, any eye whites, but still looks like full of energy and I like that flowing mane. Uh, lovely uh, black shading on its legs and uh, all in all the perfect horse for this year's team and definitely going to treasure that uh, as well in my collection and let me tell you a fun fact about prior horses you may not know yet 
but you probably have always wondered about what's up with the win number that you can see on some of the uh, model's hooves. Well, the answer is pretty easy. It's not a vehicle identification number, of course, but this is an, is an identifier uh, of the factory that actually uh, created this model. As you know, Bayer has outsourced their production to China uh, already uh, many years ago. And one of the contractors they use is called Winson Products. V-I-N-S-O-N, and that's their identifier. And you can also see the uh, uh, month and year the model was produced at this factory. Uh, I verified this with uh, US toy import data that's available uh, online and uh, we can, I was definitely able to track this back to uh, the factory, uh, to the company that specializes in uh, manufacturing uh, uh, figurines and other uh, related toys in southern China. Mm -hmm. Winson Products is at least one of the factories that make the buyer horses now. So, now you learn something new. And here's the entire herd again. Uh, I wish I could have gone more into details about uh, each horse, but that's pretty difficult uh, to memorize um, uh, all the uh, details and the stories of uh, 10 different horses right after each other uh, and I uh, wanted to keep this video um, rather short so you can so it uh, would give you a nice overview of uh, uh, especially the uh, prior fest uh, horses that I got and some of the new uh, regular run models um, as always feel free to get in touch with me uh, down in the comments below and tell you Tell me about uh, your prior fest uh, experience. I would love to hear from you, and uh, would love to uh, hear what what your favorite models uh, are for this year, for this year's prior fest. And as I said, I'm I am happy with what I got, and I look forward to uh, hopefully next year where we maybe we. If uh, the world is able to uh, create uh, at least one working uh, COVID-19 vaccine, that would be great by next summer. So maybe, maybe, maybe we can have uh, a an on location prior fest again. And if it takes longer, then I'm pretty sure Bayer will host another online edition. But hopefully. The last one so we can uh, start again in uh, uh, 2022 uh, with uh, a real life prior fest at the Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington which I really miss. I especially uh, uh, not only missed uh, seeing all these horses but it was also really fun to uh, just people watch and uh, the kids uh, getting their models and uh, getting all excited. Uh, about it, uh, especially what I especially uh, loved during my uh, last year's Briar Fest. My first ever Briar Fest was, was that I saw a lot of boys actually uh, playing with model horses. I was pleasantly surprised because, as you know, uh, the mission of Kidwana's toys and me is to show you that toys are truly for everyone, no matter their age or gender. And if you like horses, then you can collect model horses, uh, no matter what. And that's what I simply do as well. I really, uh, really uh, grew fond with these buyer models, and I'm looking forward to collect uh, many, many more over the years. And. I cannot wait to tell you my next addition to my herd, but for now, that's it. 
And when I return next weekend for the 17th episode of Kidwana's Toys, the Lion King will be the topic again, so I'm going to see uh, what kind of Lion King toy or toys that I can feed to you. Uh, don't worry, I still have enough Lion King toys to feed, so it's just uh, pretty hard to choose uh, from any, but I'm sure I will find something. And until then, uh, enjoy the summer and stay safe. Goodbye!